Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Red Beard Grind. I'm Red Beard. I sell stuff on eBay and I make videos about it. So you can go find the same stuff and sell it yourself. I do mostly clothes. So I'm going to cover this, is going to cover June 27th through to the 29th to cover the weekend and stuff. I've did, done 44 sales on eBay at 1300 bucks and some change and sells. And if you like this type of stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and do the thumbs up thing. I'm going to cover the top. Let's see, like the top 10 or so from eBay. And then I'm going to jump over to Poshmark and I want to go over a couple of, a few of these cells. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So let's do this. I'm going to do it fast so I don't waste your time. You can get the information you want and then get out of here. All right. Peter Millar sold these for 60 bucks for almost $60. The whole store is on sale right now. It, the sale is ending today. I'll probably run another one for for July 4th, but um, just trying to generate some sales uh, in the summertime because sales are down right now, which is normal. But these are these are new with tag. I bought a bunch of these. These, I don't think it's these, but these have a high sell through rate. There's uh, some Peter Millar crown shorts that I bought at another time, new with tag from TJ. No, it's from Ross, Ross or Marshalls. I can't remember, but they had a 200% sell through rate. So the shorts sell well. I'm pricing mine high. I want as much profit as I can. I'm buying these from uh, 24 to 29 bucks, so they're expensive. Uh, but you can sell them for that $60 range. I have sold some at full asking. I've sold a couple of them for 69 bucks. Uh, you can see those in some of my other videos. If you're not familiar with Peter Millar, this is their inside tag. This is uh, Peter Millar Crown Crafted. Some of the tags, which is just like spandex, nylon. Um, are these seersucker? These are seersucker shorts. Sometimes I take a picture of this tag and show them the, the price, the MSRP. Sometimes I don't. Um, I think everybody's aware that that's just kind of a ridiculous number. But uh, yeah, these are selling. I've sold, I sold a bunch of these. And uh, when my sell ends, hope I can sell more for full asking. Here's some Tony Lama men's boots. I sold these for $41 plus my shipping, which was 16 bucks right there. $16, $17 for shipping. I always charge 17 for shoes and boots. These have been listed for a while. Um, May 24th. Not that long, I guess. I thought, they were, I thought they'd been listed longer than that. Um, I guess not. But these move pretty fast. I bought them from the thrift, probably for the $9.99, maybe even $14. Um, I, I wouldn't have paid like $20. But I often pick up boots, even when they are like have bad heels like this. You just show the pictures of the soles and the hills and the condition of the boots, and people will buy these and they'll resold them themselves. This is a nice brand. Um, in better condition, they go for a decent a decent amount of money. And uh, there's there's a lot of different boot boot brands that can, you can you can sell for in the hundreds. I've sold plenty of them over hundred dollars. But I'm always on the lookout for boots, even if they're worn out. If it's a really good brand, I'll buy it and flip them. All right, these went fast. I listed these June 25th. They already sold. I wish they weren't on sale, but that's the way it goes. I got my whole store on the sale. Um, sold these for 46 bucks. I bought them for $6.99 at Goodwill. And it's Maeve. And I don't normally uh, shop women's pants, but these were actually in the men's. And I, I, when I felt them, I'm like, hey, that feels nice. So I just comped it because it had the name. It's easy to comp stuff when it has a name on it. And the sell through rate was really, really good. And the, uh, the, the sell price was really good too. So I picked them up. It was a fast flip. It was a good sell. So keep, yeah, keep an eye out for Maeve, Mav. I'm not sure how you pronounce that by anthropology. All right, Under Armour. I bought this shirt from Ross. I remember buying this and it was on clearance. They had it on the clearance rack for, I want to say, 24 bucks. I paid up for it. Um, and I listed it for 54, sold it for 46 on sale. This is, it's a really cool print. That's what attracted me to it. I was like, hey, I can, I can, like whatever these shirts are selling for in this size, like this is unique. I was going to price, it. I knew I could price it up and then I did. But then of course I ran a 15% sell. I think you could, you could sell this for that $55 price if you weren't, if I wasn't running a sell. Um, and it did go fast. I listed it June 26 and it, it went within a day or two. So this is the ISO Chill Polo um, from Under Armour. If you're not familiar with Under Armour, which I think most of us are, that's their logo right there. But anytime you see a print like this, you got to go check it out. 
like especially at Goodwill. Like it'd, it'd be awesome to buy this for four ninety nine and still be able to sell this for in the high twenties, low thirties probably. Um, but yeah, and then Hawaiian was keyword golf keyword, and you want the name of the shirt. ISO Chill Edge. All right, guest jeans. Why did these go for so much? Oh, okay, so it's twenty bucks, but over here it says forty, but that's because it's an overseas shipment. So they pay up for the shipping, but I'll show you anyways. Either um, I don't have the word vintage in there, maybe not vintage, but um, anytime I see like guest jeans, or uh, I'm pretty familiar with Levi's, but there's Guess and all those other, I can't think of any of the other brands that I look at, but when they have a name, like a tag like this, I'll just comp it real quick. Um, if the denim feels like it's a decent denim, if it's real thin and like, like uh, just, I don't know, cheap or thin feeling, I don't mess around with it. But when I have a name and it's like, you and it's guess or like Tommy Hill figure. Um, I go ahead and comp it real quick. And if it has a decent sell through rate, I'll pick it up. So I moved these for 21 bucks, bought them for $6.99 or $7.99 from Goodwill. And they're out of here. And it was an overseas shipment, so I made a decent amount on the shipping too. Um, it was usually I make a pretty good profit on my overseas shipping shipments. All right, so this is Levi's 550 relaxed shorts. I bought a bunch of these from Ross. They were on sale for, I want to say, like the $14 to $15 range. And uh, so I'm not making as much profit as it seems. I have sold some at the $34 range, but uh, they're moving better at the $29 range. Um, so just be careful. You got to make sure you're making profit. I'm not promoting. These are selling without promotions. Most of my store is promoted, but I don't promote things until um, it's been in the store for at least a week. Maybe these were at 5% promotion. Um, but that's that's usually the 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 um the early stuff, like the first month or two of my store, I'll promote it five percent. Um, and then later on I'll promote it twelve percent after it's been in the store for a couple of months. Uh so yeah, I'm just showing you tax. Five fifty denim shorts. Denim shorts are gonna sell right now. It's better if you can buy these at Goodwill, I think, and then price them, you know, maybe low twenties, mid twenties and still sell them and get more profit. Page Linux, this is the second second pair of these jeans that I've sold. Uh, and I've started comping Page a lot. And the sell through rate is horrible on everything that I've comped so far, except for the Linux jeans, for whatever reason. And the Linux jeans feel like a higher quality than the other junk that I'm finding at Goodwill and Salvation Army. Um, so I've found another pair. So I've got a third one listed and the first two sold within within not even weeks. So this, I listed two pair on June 17th and they're both gone and they both went for in the thirties uh, plus shipping. So be on the lookout for page looking for that. And then you're looking for a little Linux. Uh, they're moving. They have a high sell through rate and they go for a decent amount of money. Where am I? Okay. Let's do, let's do Marithi or Bod for sure. This is a great brand to find. Um, if you could find the shorts, but the jeans, the shirts and the tops don't do that well for me. And I don't ever find women's stuff with this brand that I can re remember. It's usually baggy jeans or a, or a baggy denim shorts is what I find most of the time. And what you're looking for is they'll pretty much always have their little logo here, Marithi Grabod Frank Hoist. So that's easy to see when you're going through the, through the racks. Their logo on the button. This is on the inside. These are button fly. I'll show you the inside tag. That's your inside tag right there. And they have different variations of this. It doesn't always look like that. These tags are just blown out because they're so it's so old. Um, and that's that's blown out too. Nothing to see there. But usually you could see their their logo or their name there also. But these things sell pretty well for a pretty decent price. They don't always move fast. I've had these listed since April 8th um, and moved them for 36 bucks or 35 and some change. Uh, but I I've never these have never sat for like uh throughout a whole throughout a whole year. I usually list them and a few months within a month they'll move. Sometimes they move really fast and I probably priced it up a little bit. So that's why mine sat for a while. But this is a great brand. I never pass it up if it's jeans or shorts. I always pick them up automatically. Uh I'll show you this one and then we'll get on to Poshmark, I think. Um so this shirt or this this brand, let me show you the tag. I'm not real familiar with this brand, but I found it a few times uh, in a pattern that's a cool pattern like this, and I'll pick it up. I see this, I pass it most of the time, but I've been able to sell these things for in the mid-20s and up. 
I think I sold it. I got a limited edition one that I sold in the high 30s, but it does okay for me. This, uh, whatever, however you pronounce that, Pintoria Matia. I don't know how to pronounce that, but that's the logo right there, the tag. And it doesn't feel particularly high quality. This one was cool. And I think that's Pearl. Is that Pearl Snap? Yeah, it's Pearl Snap. Um, so, yeah, just keep an eye out for that brand. It's out there. I see it occasionally. I pass it up most of the time. But occasionally when I see a cool pattern, I pick it up and sell it for a good amount of money. I bought the shirt for probably $4.99, $5.99. And then number 10 is just another Levi's 550 that I sold. Same thing. It's the exact same thing as up here, except for different size. This is a 38. That's a 34. And then there's all kinds of good brands here, but I don't want this video to be, be that long. So let's jump over to a couple of things I want to show you from Poshmark. Um, 10,000. This is a good brand um that i've sold i sell their shorts i find their shorts more often than than anything else and kind of like an athletic short like a stretchy feel to it um and these i found at tj maxx and they were on sale i bought two or i think two pair of them i bought them for probably 29 bucks and this is the first pair that sold and they've been listed for at least three weeks now i think coming up on three weeks uh, but the brand's a decent brand they got a good sell through rate if you see that, uh, you might check it out. And their logo, I want to say that they, they're kind of like Lululemon. Their logo is not easy to see or it's not on there at all. Well, let's see. Here's the pocket. Okay, so there. It says 10,000. That's all it says. And this was like some tactical pants. I don't remember the sell-through rate. It was decent enough for me to go ahead and pull the trigger and buy these at 29 and they were selling for in the 80 to $90 range. I priced mine at, I think, 110 uh, originally. And I took, I took an offer. Someone sent me an offer for 85 And this doesn't include shipping because it's Poshmark. And they don't consider that part of your sales because they handle the, the cost of shipping. So, yeah, look out for $10,000. I, I, uh, I don't think I've passed anything up I've seen for this. And then Chubbies, these won't make you rich. but they sell fast and I wanted to show you these. Let me show you the logo so you get familiar with the logo. Chubbies, I think every time I find Chubbies, they, they move pretty fast. You just gotta price them at a reasonable, you know, 15 to $20 range. And if it's got a really cool pattern, you can get up into the mid twenties and still move them. Often they're made in the USA, but this was a uh, Vietnam. Um, and then just a little bit of information, six inch inseam. I think these are seersucker, yeah. So it's just a cool little brand that moves chubbies you'll see that you see on the back and then see these even had like a an issue like that little little threads loose right there uh, let's see let's see what's on the front how you could identify them from the front probably can't i don't know if the string maybe says chubbies on it like right there but um it's a good brand i don't pass them up i i um i buy them most of the time sometimes i'll pass if it's not in great condition or something but usually i just pick them up throw them in a basket and flip them pretty fast they move pretty fast those have been listed for just weeks maybe all right rock and roll cowboy revolver jeans this is a brand that i pick up um i think i comp it but i really don't remember um rock and roll there's rock and roll cowboy and there's rock and roll cowgirl i pick both of them up they both tend to sell pretty well they don't sell for like a crazy amount of money I think typically it's 25 to 35 bucks. These went for 23 and I don't remember when I listed these. These may have been setting around for a while. It's not it's not fresh in my head. Um but a not not a bad pair of jeans to pick up and just flip. You get them for 6.99, 7.99, you can sell them usually in that 25 to 35 dollar range and some of them go for more money. All you got to do is when you're comping it, split rock and roll, cowboy and then put revolver straight. And you can put this information to or slim straight, but I usually just put revolver straight, see what the sell through rate is, see what it's going for, and then make a decision if I want to get it or not. But I'm familiar enough with these now that I just kind of, I kind of just throw them in the basket. I don't comp them anymore. All right, these are some Levi's 14 uh, quarterweight pants that I bought from Marshalls. I don't remember where I got them from, and these were on a significant discount. This was in their clearance section. I want to say I paid 14 bucks for them, but Let's just say 14 to 20 because I don't really remember. Um, let's see. So what can I show you? It's just Levi's. There's really nothing to show you. That's how you're going to identify it. It's got the Levi's red tab. 
by 14 straight. There's your little badge on the back, better picture of it. But corduroy, I always comp corduroy. Um, and I did comp these and the sell through rate was pretty decent. This color was not readily available on eBay. And I picked up two or three pairs of these. I think this is the first one I sold for 42 bucks. And then let's see what else. Diesel. This brand is a automatic pickup for me for the men's jeans. I have found women's in uh, Compton that didn't, didn't have a good sell through rate, so I passed on it. But the men's, I always pretty much just throw it in the basket. Um, these, when I picked them up, I didn't realize that they were, the size had been altered. So that's why I got this big, big warning here. But um, this is Diesel. This is their little in, in the waist tag. Their size is always upside down. Uh, they were supposed to be 34 inches long, and someone had them altered to, I think, 20-something, 20, 20 which happens. People are uh, 30, so several inches were taken off, which is, it, you know, it, it happens all the time. But I found that um, these alterations, I used to hate getting them, but they still sell. I sold these for $29. Diesel can go easily up in the 40s and 50s, and if you can get something new, you can sell it for in the 80s, 90s, over 100 sometimes. I think I have one pair of Buster jeans listed for like 80 or 90 bucks with new with tag that I bought. I did pay up for those too, like 29, maybe even 39 bucks. Um, but this is a good brand. That's their inside tag. You can, you can see diesel on their pocket here. They'll say diesel industry. And then the, on the back, their pockets usually have some kind of embroidery or design. Uh, that's one. That's just a couple of different ways to identify it, but it's a great brand. I love picking it up on the inside tag. They're often made in Italy. USA, I want to say Romania, Poland. I don't know if I've ever seen a China tag, but I think I think they do have them made in China. Uh, but pretty much all of them sell. All right, last one. Uh, Tommy Bahama. This is an example of buying a Tommy Bahama for four ninety nine or five ninety nine at Goodwill, and flipping it for twenty nine bucks. This type right here, this design, this flashy, flary stuff, um, people will pay up for it. And this went fast. I listed this just last week. It's a beautiful shirt. I love it. Um, and it's just silk, just a silk shirt. See, Tommy Bahama, 100% silk. And the size was, uh, what size is this? It's a large, just a large, which is other oh, size right there. Um, but this, this shirt's just awesome. I love it. All the floral work. So the Tommy Bahama fans that are looking at shirts, they're going to stop and look this one twice. I knew it. Um, so that's the type of stuff that you should be getting. Like the plain Jane ones, they don't sell as fast. You can still pick those up and sell them, but they will go for like um, 14 to $20 range. Um, if you want to sell it really fast, get closer to that 14, 15, $16 and they'll fly off the shelves. Uh, but uh, people will pay up. I've sold some Tommy Bahamas with embroideries or uh, uh, collabs like Disney Park Tommy Bahamas in the 60s, 70s and 80s. So don't pass this stuff up. The crazy looking stuff sells. I think that's everything uh, I wanted to cover. I hope you guys had a good weekend. You're, you're going to see this on Monday. I'm doing this. This is Sunday. And then 4th of July is coming up. So I'll be, I'll be making videos out of town. We'll see how that goes. I'm kind of excited to do it. I'm going to keep doing the videos. They may be shorter. Maybe I'll do top five or something since I'm on vacation. And um, yeah, but I'll still be around. Uh, putting videos out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Remember, give me the thumbs up thing, do the subscribe thing if you haven't hit that, and I will see you later.